question. And this is how, let me see if I can find the picture. All right, don't I have it on my own page? I guess not. King Von Friend. He popped out like, you know, hold on. He popped out like this. Okay, so this is Oblock Louie, who, uh, you know, he's showing off his recovery picture. He was shot in the head that night. If you guys don't remember, Vaughn's, so there was so much chaos that happened. Vaughn is running down on Quando Rondo to beat him up. Little Tim hops out, shoots somebody. Then the police who was working off duty, they respond, they shoot like, I ain't going to lie, whoever them off-duty cops was, they was on timing. They shot Quando Rondo. Not Quando Rondo. They shot little Tim. They killed one of, um, you know, because now, remember I told you when when Vaughn's people came back from the car, this is why I think, you know, little Tim is going to beat this, this charge, right? They're going to beat this charge because multiple men were armed walking up to Quando Rondo. You get what I mean? Which is going to then put a reasonable, you know, uh, it, it's going to be reason enough for you to use lethal force as self-defense, especially if you testify when you're in the car as little Tim and you see a bunch of dudes with guns in their hands walking up to your friend, you know, in self-defense, at least in Georgia, you could you could use self-defense to protect your life or the life of a friend or a family member or a child or something like that. And, um, yeah, so the, po so the police... After they hear the first couple shots that killed Vaughn, they pull their gun out, but then the O Block dudes got their gun in their hands, so they don't know what's what or if maybe Quando with other other niggas. So they kind of like up their guns, and the police just ain't gonna wait too long for your ass after that, right? They shot him, and he got shot in the head. There's another guy who died, and um, yeah, you know. Look like you know, yeah. He got shot in the head. Look like he had multiple surgeries, right? This is a this is a picture before. This is him and Vaughn before, and then this is a picture of him now. You could tell, you know, the bullet must have probably went through his skull. They probably did mad surgeries, you know, to try to make sure he's good. Shit. And, and you know, you know, I, I want to be be very, you know, kind of respectful when speaking about this. But you can see, like, it felt like his head is split open on the side. You can see how, like, half of his head is kind of like still like lumping over here. The eye, one of the eyes, like shut. You know, shit. This is definitely physically affected him, and and it will continue to affect him for the rest of his life. This is another picture. I guess he was on Instagram Live. You know. um, Man, this shit is this shit is no fucking joke. You get what I mean? Again, we got to be very cognizant and aware about all these shootouts that we keep hearing all these guys talk about. Yeah, the shit don't just happen where everybody just gets a leg shot and they come back the next day. Some people are permanently altered. I believe also with Nipsey Hussle, they said Nipsey, if Nipsey had survived, he would have been able to walk as well. He would have been in a, in a wheelchair because there was multiple gunshot wounds that went through his spine. So they believe that Nipsey was going to be pretty much like in a vegetated state if he had survived. So that's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, the reason why I'm showing this, we have to take stock. By the way, this is him before, you know, this is guy before. We got to take stock of sometimes what all of this gun violence bullshit actually results in, right? You take a a, a, a a man like this and some crazy shit happen and this is him now. You know what I mean? This is him now. Fucked up, actually, you know? But also, here's the thing: it put like a it puts a face onto some of the thing. Like for example, like you know that King Von line when he be like, "Yo, Wooski got shot in his head," and like something like that. Like th there was an op 
Wooski, who allegedly got shot in his head, and yo, they mercilessly clown that nigga. Like they clown that nigga all day. They be like, yo, they said Wooski got shot in the head. Now you taking medicine, right? I think that was like the line. They're mercilessly clown that dude. Now, if you look at this and you kind of see, it's like, but this don't look like something that you would want to clown somebody over or even be making, you know? This doesn't look like that. Story to tell says, man, them cops turn homie into Jadena. Man, this is not a joking thing. You know? Jadena is a guy with usually with a with a parted haircut. Normally, or the old Jadena, like, what the fuck? Yeah, he used to, he used to have a haircut like this. Whatever happened to that guy, Jadena? Man, this is sad, though, bro. This is fucking sad. Hey, you, you know what once, you know, you know, my friend in the military told me this. A guy who has been in multiple war zones, a guy who's, you know, in war, he saw people die right next to him and people died in his hands. And one of the things he said to me, he said, if only people know what war really looked like, because when CNN and Fox News reports war, it sounds pretty. Oh, yeah, we dropped the bomb. We killed all the, the bad guys. We're, we're still chilling. Everything is cool. If people saw the actual carnage of war, people taking their last breath, people getting their head fucking exploded, people losing limbs, people seeing how just crazy and dangerous like all this is, he said people would probably think a little bit more differently about world affairs. They'll be more respectful. They would realize war is something or even confrontation or even occupying another country is something that we as Americans, we probably don't want to do, right? But as long as war sounds like a video game, right? Like, you know what I mean? Shit. I'm wondering if Vaughn's family, do you think Vaughn's family, you know, Vaughn's family owns his estate now, so all the money from King Vaughn was going to go to them. Do you think that Vaughn's family owes, like, say, this guy something? I think they do. I think they do. All right, I took it off the screen. I took it off the screen. I could tell some of y'all were, uh, you know, getting some trigger warnings. Okay, here we go. Uh, by the way, congratulations to Drake. By the way, this picture is just so sad, bro. I look at this picture, I'm just like, stay out the streets, bro. Just stay out the streets. Is it even worth it? Like, Vaughn is dead. Like half of the main people that Vaughn used to roll with, they're all serving life in prison. Like, is it really worth it? Is this the type of life you want to live? You like almost every month they probably gotta to go to a funeral or it's a dead homie they have. You have to look over your shoulder 24-7. There's people trying to kill you at any move. You can't you might you can't even talk to any showies. They might be trying to backdoor you. Like, it's just so much negative stuff. And then you survive such a traumatic thing like getting shot in the head. Like, I want everyone to imagine being shot in the head and surviving. Like, we see Wooski. Wooski is, like, delayed in real life. Like, every single thing he does is, like, delayed. And I'm surprised he could still talk or anything. You feel me? This guy, they literally, like, knocked half his skull off. Like, look at his hair, bro, and his head. His other eye, I don't know if. It's stuck like that forever now. If he could fully open it, if they could ever fix, like, his head. I feel like they cut half his skull out or something, bro. Like, it's just sad. And he's going to grow up like this. Hopefully, he's done with being in the hood, gang banging, all that stuff. I hope he goes and finds a different light. But, man, 
even being shot in the head, they're not thinking about all right. I finally learned. He's probably thinking about getting some get back. Like, let's keep it a bean. So. But, hey, man, it's sad. It's life. If they have kids, I hope the kids don't grow up to, you feel me, get into anything, any type of way. <laughs> I always wonder, like, since social media and all this stuff, the way it is and everything's on the internet. I wonder if when Vaughn's kids grow up, and like when young boys' kids grow up and uh Quando Rondo's kids grow up, like and they're on social media themselves, what like are they all just gonna be beefing as well? And like taunting each other, oh, that's why my my dad killed your father, this, this, that. Like it's gonna be a never ending cycle, so hey man. Let's pray for the best for everybody. This is just sad. And yeah, it's Chicago, Chirag. It's black culture, I guess. It's your boy, Big Act News, and I'm out.